Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be putting in a new commode. Um, I'm not going to do step by step on this because I've done this before in the past, but I want to try out a new product that's going to go on to the new commode. So that's the main reason why this. I'll show you what I can, but it's not going to be a step by step how to, but you'll get the idea. Let's get started on this thing. Okay guys, so of course, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shut the water off to the commode. Shut it all the way off. This is getting replaced. Uh, when we got Bruno, when he was a puppy, he used to stay in this bathroom when we was at work. And he had all his water and stuff in here and his food. He got to chewing on this one day, so I've got a new one. Um, that's going to be replaced, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to flush this. Let all the water drain out I can get out of it. Then I'm going to take the top off and uh, try to get what water I can out. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I'm going to get something to put under here and catch what water comes out of there. Now, there is going to be, looks like an issue, right down here. Them things are rusted, and you can't get a wrench on them or anything, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. So anyway, let me go get a pan or something to put under here, and uh, let's get this line off of here. Okay guys, so, I don't know if you can see that or not, it's, uh, these are not going to come out, I checked the other side too, they're just rusting away, so hopefully, I can get it to pop through them holes, um, now if you're working with a, a nice unit, you're not going to want to do this, because you're not going to want to, you know, take a chance of scraping up your your porcelain but in this case it doesn't matter now if you have to though you know and you got to get your grinder down there which I might have to do I'm not sure but if you have to get your grinder down in there you just want to be really really careful and watch where you go so I don't know if I'm gonna have to do that. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Alright, I can take this off now. I'm gonna lift this out of here. I gotta move you guys and I'm gonna take this out and uh, probably take it outside. And then we gotta clean the old wax ring up. That's where we get into this new problem or this new product I wanna try. So let me get this out of here like I said I'm just gonna lift it all in one piece a lot of guys will take the tank off makes it lighter I'm just gonna try to do it in one piece okay guys so this is the product I'm gonna try right here it takes the place of a wax ring it's rubber I don't know why they haven't thought of these years ago but they're supposed to work real well better than wax uh, no leaks worry free fits any drain any toilet now this is what it looks like when you get it out here so this will go down inside I'm not sure if I gotta use this one yet but we'll see there's many different configurations the commode just sits on there so hopefully this will take care of it when our septic backed up we was leaking around the wax ring and uh, she's been wanting to get a new higher commode in here for her mom and stuff so uh, instead of putting one on and then taking it back out instead of doing the job twice she said uh, well I said why don't we just if you want a new commode you since you're going to get a new commode we'll just go ahead and wait and that's what I did uh, you know it comes with your your hardware um, your nuts washers it comes with your little booklet here it tells you how to install it 
Now the um, the commode came with all that stuff, but this one came with this setup because I'm thinking about using this one, even though it's not stainless, and the other one is that came with it with the commode. This one you can snap off if it's too long. The other ones don't, and I'll have to cut them off. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use these. They're they're all the same and they're the same length except this one I can snap off if it's too long to put the caps on which it came with the caps. This didn't. This just came with the hardware kit. So I'm going to read up on this. I never used one before. We went we went for something and I seen it on the shelf and I was like whoa dang let's go ahead and get this. So I'm going to read up on this see which way I've got to do it and then I'll show you what we're going to do down here at the dream. Okay so these are pretty self-explanatory. There's a notch there that these go into. Now this one's been broke. That's what these extra pieces are on for. Someone's broke them. So that's why they're on there. So I'm just going to slide these into that slot. Slide it back. It's got to be straight. Straight across. Now I'm going to put, these just help hold, hold these bolts while you put the commode in. That's all these do. Now, so I have determined the height that I'm going to need. I'll make sure we'll use this as a guide. So that looks pretty good. My eyes are watering because I use some uh, comet with bleach to clean that up. And then this. Now, if you're below the floor, you're going to use this and this. But I'm about a quarter inch above. So that's all we're going to need there. Now I'm going to have to get the commode. I'm going to bring it in here. I'm going to try to set this down on. It's best to use two people because that new commode weighs 90 pounds, 93 pounds. So I'm going to try it by myself and if I can't get it I'll have to wait on Monkey to get back. She took her mom to the eye doctor. So all right. I gotta get some air. <laughs> Let me go get the commode and I'll be back with you. Alright. <coughs> it comes without the tank on it, so it's not it's not that bad. Perfect. Now let's see. I'm gonna get I forgot to bring in the nuts and the washers and stuff for that, so let me go get them. Okay, so first thing we gotta do is so we gotta put these plastic ones on and the metal ones. The plastic ones go on first and it'll tell you this side up. Okay? This holds your cap on. We're gonna put this on. I'm gonna start this. These are 7 16 inch nuts. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing the other side, and I'm going to tighten it down. And you just want to go back and forth. Don't over tighten them, and just tighten them till it's snug. Okay, guys, so this is what we got. This little, they call it a gasket. Just put that over there, and don't drop the tank. We're just going to put that in there just like that and it comes with your washers and your nuts and you're just going to put them on snug them up until they're snug remember you're not tightening up a uh, you're not tightening head bolts on a 60 series Detroit diesel right so and that's all there is to that so I'm going to get these snugged up I'm going to hook up the water line and check for leaks before I put the seat on it. Oh. 
All right, now let's turn it on. Check for leaks. A lot of guys don't like that. Again, I got too long of a hose. A lot of guys don't like doing that. It doesn't bother me. I don't see anything leaking yet. The problem we had before was down here at the bottom. Right around the base of it. When you'd flush it, water would come out of there. Now also, I still got to caulk that around there. They they want you to put caulk, which I do too because it looks a lot more finished. It looks nicer. So, let's fill this up. And then we'll put the seat on. But in the meantime, let's go get our caps and see if our caps fit. Okay, our caps ain't going to fit. See that? And I think once I break them off, I still don't think they're going to fit. So, I'm going to have to cut that off with my cutoff tool. I'm not going to do it right this minute. But I am going to do that. But right now, I see nothing leaking. Let's go ahead and flush it and make sure there's no water coming out of the bottom of here. And there's not. Nice and dry. Make sure there's no leaks up here. Uh. I'm gonna get my camera off of here, guys. Here we go. Seems to be working properly. A bit of water coming out of here. I don't like that. Or shouldn't be. It's only like 1.6 gallon per flush or something like that. So. Alright, let's go get the toilet seat and get the toilet seat put on there. Okay guys, so this is how this goes on. Got a couple different pieces here. Looks like a lot, but it's not. Got a couple little rubber pieces here. They go on the bottom. They just clip in with four little tangs. And then you're going to want to... You just... Uh, got this oblong looking thing here. It goes in there. Then you got your washer. Right there. So like that, just like that. And then you're gonna put it down on, like that. And then you got, whoops, <laughs> that's not it. And you got your your little nuts you put on, and that's pretty much it. Just get it centered. Just kind of. They don't have to be super duper tight, again. Okay, so, just gonna make sure it's centered on there, and then we're done. Well, I gotta put the, the, uh, the tank lid on. And then your cap, your two caps will go on top. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on. And then we'll put the tank lid on and we're finished. Okay guys, last step. Well, let me make sure it's... Alright. I think it may be enough. I might have to... I might put more water in it later. Uh, it's the same on water, but we got well water, so... Not too much worried about it. Flush it in. No leakage. Uh, there we go. Want my paw prints and DNA off of it, right? So, there you go, guys. Real easy. It is every bit as easy as it looks. Other than if you got to cut them bolts off. You know, I'm just going to use my grinder. Cut them off just so they'll fit. Just so these caps will fit on there. It's no big deal. Alright guys, so there you have it. I had to take my hat off. It's hot in this bathroom. I got I could have put a fan. I got some fans. I could have put a fan in here, but then you guys couldn't hear me talk. So anyway, I'll let you know how long this thing lasts. Right here. And 
go from there. Uh, like I said, the new one did come with a wax ring. Um, so I've got it just in case this fails for some reason. Uh, I can put the wax ring on it. It's not that big of a deal. So anyway guys, nothing to it but to do it. Drop this thing. Drop that down in the sink. Get my glasses. Whoa, what the... huh. Forgot to take the tapey stuff off. Alright. So there you go. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it. Uh, like I said, I'd done a complete video before. This was kind of complete. It just, you know, make sure you get everything clean once it's out of there. You know, get all the old wax ring off and stuff like that. You'll be fine. Make sure there's no leaks. If there is, take care of them. You know, now's the time to do it, not later. Especially if you've got wooden floors. <laughs> Alright guys, I think Monkey's on her way back with her mom, so... I'm going to get off here, get some of the stuff cleaned up. And I'm going to say Shea Bear with Man Legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Stay tuned, because... Uh, uh, we got a build off coming, a barbecue build off, so it should be fun. I'll get more, I'll do a video on that a little bit later uh, and some more details how you guys can vote and stuff like that. So we're still kind of working that out. We got some ideas and I'm gonna, we're going to start our builds on the first. So anyway, guys, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye, guys, and take care. Be safe.